Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma. Hey, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. Well, today I'm out here just trying my hand at a little snapper blue fishing. Uh, they're starting to show up across uh, South County, Rhode Island, in the ponds uh, here in Connecticut. They're in a lot of your rivers and feeder creeks and marinas. So, you know, that's going to spark both fishing for them for table fare as well as uh, in reference to some awesome fluke bait. Now, it's a good time. Even though the waters inshore are kind of warm, those fluke are going to move in tight hunting down those snapper blues. Now, remember the world record fluke was landed on a snapper blue so this just goes to show they really really like those little snappers i want to let you know that the date has been set for the fisherman's annual surf fishing show and workshop at the huntington hilton out in long island come join us for a night of seminars and vendors geared specifically towards surf fishing on thursday september 14th the first 500 attendees through the door will receive a full gift bag of gear from our sponsors including Tsunami, <clears throat> Blue Frog, Otter Tails, Cast King Braid, Spro, VMC, Suffix, Owner, Storm, Sabeel, Fat Cow, Tactical Anglers, and more. So there is a lot that you're going to get along with your admission, uh, getting in the door. It is a great show. Stay tuned for details on the full list of featured seminar speakers as we get those finalized. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. <laughs> Fishing wise in Connecticut. Uh, seems like I got a word a lot this week of our local boats heading over to Montauk where bottom fishing for fluke sea bass and scup has been downright outstanding. Uh, Captain Greg in the Blackhawk reports almost easy limits of sea bass, good catches of fluke, and plenty of big dinner plate sized scup coming over the rails. So there's some great options over there. Uh, he said there's a ton of bait around out there and it is attracting everything from striped bass to thresher sharks at time. Uh, he also noted that he finally got into some pretty good catches of bluefish in and around the race. So we've kind of been holding off trying to figure out where those bluefish have been and well apparently they're at the race now. It comes just in time for that big bluefish tournament next weekend. Uh, let's see, moving on into report, I got a couple more confirmed bonita catches locally mixed in with these schools of chub mackerel, which I told you about and started reporting on last week. And those guys are still pretty prevalent across most of South County. Uh, Robin over at Kwani Bait and Tackle sent me a good picture of a bonita that was caught this week locally, and a few of my contacts down in South County report seeing what they thought were bonita along the beaches. Also heard of some adult bunker schools down in the Narragansett area tight to shore, which should help surf casters, assuming those schools are able to avoid the fish traps. Offshore action also remains pretty good out of roadie right now. And some of the guys I spoke to for this week's report has it had as many as nine bluefin landed on a single trip with at least that many hookups, if not more, dropped along the way. The fish are being caught both on the troll as well as on jigs. One of the tips they said was you get into some fish on a troll, drop a diamond jig down and you might just pick up a couple extra fish. And then be sure to make a stop at Cox's on your way home if you have time and energy as codfish out there remains very good as well. Up in Massachusetts, the uh, striper bite in the canal is still holding up pretty good with lots of fish into the 30 pound class being caught right now. Uh, in general, the better fish are being caught uh, by jigs during the day and, and live eels at night, but you know, that's no secret to any of the canal sharpies. But that said, there's still some decent fish being picked up on top water. Um, and uh, it, that bite hopefully is going to hold up a bit longer before we get into that regular uh, fall run. I got a couple rumored reports of some uh, false albacore in the canal, but I have not confirmed that yet, but it should be any day for those guys as well. And then tuna-wise, there's still some giants being landed out east of Chatham, as well as up on Stellwagen Bank. And you know, overall, the word was the bite kind of dropped off a little bit from the almost frenzy of action that we had going back uh, a week and a half or so ago. But nonetheless, there's still some really good catches of bluefin being made up in Massachusetts waters. All right, well, there you have it. I am Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines if you head out onto the water this weekend. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma. 
Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dreamboat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today.